this coming a mile off. Politicians give workers a raise, so fewer workers get jobs. Here we go again. Wendy's will open 6,000 self-serve kiosks. Counter hands you order by computer. That's job destruction. What set this off? The huge minimum wage increase is a big part of it. New York State, California, both moving towards $15 an hour. That doubles wages. Towns and cities are legislating at least $12 an hour. Milwaukee, Portland, Seattle, all telling private companies pay more. So inevitably, they hire fewer people. They bring in automation. The unions, which are the main drivers of this, claim victory. They say every job should pay a living wage, enough to support a family. Really? Is there no room for any less while the youngsters learn and figure out how the working world works? At an airport the other day, I saw a restaurant operation with 65 seats and just three runners, not waiters. Customers ordered on a tablet, and the runners delivered the food from the kitchen. How many entry-level workers will not be hired? You see this all across the country. The bottom line here is becoming increasingly obvious. A $15 an hour minimum wage means automation. That means fewer jobs. It's already happening on a grand scale. Beware the politician who's only trying to help.